hello welcome so in this video i am going to show you how you can create global variable in previous video we have learned how we can create local variable with the help of assign endpoint so we can just uh, we have assign right assign using this assign we can create variables we can assign value to that variables and all so but now in this video we will learn how we can create global variables so as you can see that in integration we have started with endpoint in this endpoint using this endpoint we are receiving the values we are receiving the request payload and we are returning back the some values to in in response so we will use these two values in global variables so how we can create global variables so in integration if we want to create global variable we have to just click on this x icon global variable icon and just after clicking here you will get option to create variables so just click on that add variables here you can give the name so by default it's coming something like the global variable underscore zero so here i will give that g underscore suppose num1 and the, here we can select the type of that variable so in local variable using the assign we created they have only one type that is a string but while creating the variable as global variable we have data many data types we have boolean data type we have date data type we have date time data type objects numbers and all so in this integration i will just show you how we can use that number or basic string string uh, variables we in next videos we will create integration to use object types of variable also right but right now we'll go for numeric so here we will create two variables g underscore num2 and here both will be numeric type so here we have created the variables now it's turn to assign the value that to that variables we learn how to create variables global variables right so here you can see that we have two global variables g num and g num2 now we have to assign the value so for assigning the value to local variable we have assign operation we have assign activity right but while for assigning the value to the global variable we have data stitch so using the concept of data stitch we can update the global variable we can assign the value to the global variable so now here what we will do we will just drag this activity this assign here over here okay i have not changed this all this endpoint like switch uh, here we created earlier right assign so just i will create directly global variable so here once we try to configure the uh, data stitch we have to give the name so just give any name so suppose a stitch a stitch variable and give any description you can left it also just click on that configure so here it's here this is the option to assign the values so for assigning the values what we need to do is that we need to select the variable so here suppose i want to assign value to the g num1 so just select here and now what kind of operation we want to perform we want to perform operation to assign not append and remove so we want to assign the value so just select assign operation append is used to uh, append the value so suppose we have uh, a string variable and in the string variable we have suppose value as uh, name first name and we want to add another last name in that name then we use append and remove for removing the value so here in the value section what value we want to assign so here we have to assign the this one uh, not where we have to assign the parameter values right so if we whatever we get in request here you can say that this p num one so from where we can get so here just click on this edit icon and here you will get that value so here we have a start rest inside that start rest execute in request wrapper we have that to value so here we have pnum so just drag this pnum here so as this is a uh, default like it's coming something like the a string and on it's maybe come right now we are sending numeric but sometimes maybe we send that double quotes in double quotes so this will be a string so for preventing to get the error what we will do we will make this as numeric so also we have numeric function here if you will see functions number and here you can see that mathematical uh, somewhere we have conversion function okay conversion here we have number so we can use this number also so just cut there just paste this number and here we will pass the value so now you can say that this value is configured and we assign the value of p num1 into genome okay 
and just if you want to add another variable just click on this plus icon so here you can say genome is assigned from pnum1 now we have to add another variable right so here we have to select the variable so now we will select genome2 in the genome2 what kind of value we want to assign we will, uh, again we assign the same value so just select drug num over here number and what value so we assign want to give the value from here pnum2 so here you can see that this is assigned so now this is completed what you need to do you need to just cross so here you can see that using data stitch we assign two values to that global variables right pnum genome 1 and genome 2 now it's turn to assign the result variables value to the result variable so if you will see previously here we have created result variable var result so in this local variable we will assign global variables value okay so for using local variable we can easily use assign so again we will go and use assign in assign here we will use assign result again create and here we will select local variable our local variable that is var result here you will not get you can see here you will not get the global variable option you will get only local variable so var result and what value we want to assign to that local variable we want to assign that genome plus g2 so genome is already numeric so i will not convert here genome plus num2 that's it validate and close validate and close so here here we learn that how we can create that global variable and how we can assign value to that global variable using the data stitch and how we can use global variables somewhere we can directly use global variable or we can uh, assign low global variable global variable values to local any local variable so here we have assigned now we have to map so if you will see in previous i have already mapped that result variable in response so just see here you see in the response we have already mapped var result so everything is fine just close and here i have to save and close everything i will show you in the log message okay so how we can trace and how we can figure out the process flow so now it's already configured just go and activate while activating remember need to enable the tracing variable so just go and refresh again uh, integration is activated now here we have to run so just click on test and now here you can see in body we are passing suppose 120 plus 92 to 1 just click on this test so here in response you can see that we got the value 210 and here this is the log so here i will show you the all the logs so just it will take some time to log the load the log messages okay so just wait for that and i will show you here you can see that all these things here first if you will see we created the global variable and that global variable is not showing while creating in this here log so here you can say that we use a stitch operation right we use a stitch operation to assign the value to that global, global variables so, and now you can see that in a stitch we assign value 90 and we assign value 122 and here if you will see in assign result we use these two value and make a result so here you can say that var result is 210 and we map this var result here in mapping you can see that in mapping we map result as 210 and the process message as success hard coded so this is the integration where you have learned how to use global variable how to assign value to that global variable if you have any other query and want to ask anything you can just comment below thank you so much